either way, you see the next match coming up will be Nephew, the Red Bull Conquest LCQ winner. Yeah. will be going up against Punk, who ultimately took the whole thing and won it for Team New York. Spoilers, if you didn't catch up. This was the finals yesterday. <laughs> yeah. That's right. They have to play first round of the regional final. If you missed it, we had about 15 tournaments this weekend, yes. so I don't blame you, but the uh, finals yesterday of the Street Fighter portion of Conquest was these two in the grand finals. Punk did play the mirror match, and for a lot of you guys thinking that Punk is trolling, he sort of is. But also, historically, this is the match that he plays against Colleen. When he was at E-League, he had to play Momochi, Momochi. and yeah. he picked the mirror match against him, right? So Punk sort of has this theory that, like, when he has to play neutral against a character like Colleen with Karen, he's not that comfortable. But if he picks the same character, they have the same tools. And he's like, I'm just better on the ground than you, so yeah. I'll win the ground game. And I feel like that's a very educated way to uh, pick a matchup. But I can tell you right now, it did come after a reset. So right. Nephew is one of those players who's very new to the game. But man, he can play some Street Fighter V, definitely being one of the strongest Colleen players out there. Being still relatively new, you see him here very far in this bracket, going up against Punk, who chooses to play that mirror. But like you said, having the same tools, but he feels like he's a better footsies player. Those fundamentals kicked in here. Here's the stun, and these are the things that you see, right? He was doing such good things when he was fighting Nephew as calling out the air to airs and jumping back on the vanity step. He, I think he did it like three times, and then the time he chose to stay on the ground, he stopped that too. You know Punk is well versed in it. Gets that standing medium punch, here comes Nephew. Yup, knockdown carry to the corner. He's getting very close to a stun though. Goes low after the back throw. Back throw when she's in V-Trigger 2 is so scary. EX. Knockdown, Parabellum. The oh. throw out of the fantasy step. That's the dizzy. Round one goes the nephew. The future. There's three Colleen's again. It's like top eight yesterday. My boy Yipes out here. Doing the Lord's work on the house mic for the I people. Hear him. Making sure the people here are enjoying the time. Ooh. Crouch medium kick. Oh, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Mm -hmm. That way of fighting the fears. That's like a lot of Colleen's game plan, right? Walk back into the fears. What did you say? Walk back into fears? Yeah, yeah, and then you do the Parabellum after. It's pretty good. And then, of course, you just around walk house. something and you walk back, and then you're just like, oh, maybe I should hit fears. Oh, yeah, well, didn't work that time, but. Tried it, Fierce. <laughs> Tried it, Fierce. Yeah. It's a lot of this character's gameplay. Oh, yeah. And that's why Punk is so good with her, right? He does the same thing kind of with Karen, but Karen's, like, hard buttons aren't as good as hers. Right. Hers is going to give you a lot. That crush counter, there's the activation. Double dash up. Uh-oh. Nephew looking really good in this first game. And this is how every round ended yesterday. Every round was in this situation. The other took... side. Oh, it didn't get the follow-up. Nephew, that standing medium pun. Colleen wins. <laughs> look at Punk. You see that tongue out? This guy, Punk. Wow, look at the tech from Nephew. He had the phone anchoring the headphones down. See that? That's a good idea. Smart, smart. Well, that way he doesn't have to deal with, like, you know, the cable being pulled in some random which way. Cord all tangled up right in front of you dealing with any of that. No. Ugh. Rock bottom. <laughs> Buffer into the heavy parabellum. Ouch. EX nail walk up throw. Yeah, Punk was doing that a lot yesterday. Oh, the crush with the hard punch. We talked about it. EX parabellum. Gets the sweet cancel. More parabellum. There's always a parabellum. That fierce with so much range. And in V trigger, you get this big combo after. You get the close out. Uh oh. Exhale. Oh, the trade. He didn't move far enough forward. Okay, Punk. All right, Punk. You know, I saw that sponsor flag by Punk's name, and I thought it was the Japanese flag at first. I was like, what? <laughs> Actually, I'm, I had a like secondhand look soon as you said that. I looked up, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean. Parabellum for the knockdown for Nephew. Wow, tried that roundhouse with a crush. Was looking for maybe a throw. Wake up buttons from Punk. Uh, rock bottom. Stan hard kick finds his mark. No crush counter, of course. Oh. What a oh, whiff punish by Punk. Wow. Gets the stun, sets up the hill, and boom. Game two so much better for Punk. 
he really just stood in that pocket, waits for the whiff, finds the fears. And this guy, Yives, over here heckling him. Can't stand it. He's just mad that he represented Team New York. He was like, New York's got to rely on Punk. Oh, man, this guy from Philly. He was actually legit rooting for Oak. He was like, I yeah. want Oak to run away. Nah, I don't blame him. Oh, wow. Ugh. Colleen, she's one of those characters, I think a lot of people think about her rushdown, but to me, to play Colleen well, you have to have really good uh, whip punishing. That's her big strength, as you see right there, right? I think that's why a lot of people really like this character. Like, Punks has a lot of success when he plays her, and Momochi as well, right? I think this character really excels when having good counter punk whip punishing. Uh, sort of like what Momochi does with Ken, but she just has, like, more reward off of it than Ken does. I guess the EX once again. This dude, Punk, is always bringing him back in a lot of these situations. There's the activation. The B reversal belt. is there. So the next... Oh, there's the activation! did reversal sweep! Wow. Okay. Well, right. the nice thing about that is, like, sweep is only cancelable on hit. You can't cancel it on block. And he had V-Trigger, so... I'm sure there's some kind of way to OS it so that you can get one or the other, but dang. Wait, can you sweep? Reversal right there, no fear in his heart. Punish from Punk. Oh, gets the counter. That's big hail. Goes Stop for the it. dump. Okay. Nephew looking a lot better in the mirror match this time. Rock bottom. Crouch him, he didn't pick activate. Oh, oh, I like oh. the jump back. That was a really clean walk under. Mm -hmm. Rock bottom. Oh, he knew the Fierce was coming as a media the X counter. Set up. Yeah, faked him out on the throw, didn't go for it. Nephew activates. Missed the combo, that's the punish. Okay, all right, Nephew, two games right now. Versus Punk, looking a lot better than he did yesterday. Punk feeling confident, but will he switch now? Because he's definitely thinking about it. He's like, well, I got a weird situation that I'm in. Do I take the chance of switching, fighting this out with the realness, or do I stay with the Colleen? Something that's proven to work for me, not once, but twice, but it seems like he's learning. And now he's going back to character select. Yeah, I mean, yesterday he got the job done with Colleen, obviously, right? Even though there was a reset, he ended up getting the W in the end, so Punk's thinking about it. He's taking some time here to relax. Man. Punk is just, uh, he's got to deal with his heckling from Yipes. <laughs> As yeah, long as he doesn't pick cigar, into it. I'm fine with it, you know? You know how I feel about his cigar. Look, man. It seems to be getting chilly. Oh, and the cami switch. Let's go. He's betting it all on the cami pick. Yeah, I mean, I think that this is a, probably a good matchup choice, but... It's just how comfortable he's feeling on this character. I think Punk's biggest strengths, obviously hit confirming in his footsies, but I think he doesn't know how to jump and dive kick. That's like a different skill to learn, right? A lot of people are like, what do you mean? You just jump and dive kick, right? But it's like a different skill set that you need to learn how to do to play Cammy well. And I've always thought Punk's Cammy was really exceptional on the ground, but doesn't quite have like the same success in the air. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna make Nephew a lot more comfortable throwing out those counters too. He wants to control the ground so much that those counters can be really strong in a situation. Wow. And that's what happens. That's not your character. Yeah, he canceled into the wrong version of uppercut. If that was heavy uppercut confirm or a drill, would have had the dizzy. Well, I thought he was going to counter it, but right. he counters that instead. Like I said, you're going to see a lot more of him now because he knows where he wants to attack a lot more. Stun all there, doesn't even need it. This is going to be set point for Nephew versus Punk. Going with the cami pick instead of the business pick. That's what happens, man. Try something new. Miss the dive kick there. He's still punish. Uh, the wake up counter again. Cami doesn't really do anything that tricky in terms of strike on a mix up. It's not really like a low threat. So I like the wake up counter. Cash up once again. Fishing with the hard kick. There's a B reversal. Okay. That, that would punish from Punk. He's at the corner position now. Walk up throw. This game plan he is very good at, right? Oh, counter. Oh, didn't go for it. Maybe he didn't think he had enough time. He didn't have EX gauge. Oh, finally finding a way in. 
but didn't commit to the crotching medium punch. After the throw, still gets the job done. All right, Punk. One more round gives us one more match. Yeah, and Nevi without much bar to do this with, right? We saw him with that EX counter last round. Nevi trying to counter poke with standing medium. Okay. Oh, punish him. Down jab into the drill. The dive be oh, countered. Like Ready man. For it. See, this is how you know Nephew is getting very, very comfortable. Oh. Yeah, this is bad news. And that crush counter gave him the trigger bar for the mix up in the front. Gates in again. This time he gets the activation out of the corner. Oh, the throw once again to stop the counter. Nephew looking for that crush. Oh, he oh, got him with the confirm. Oh, the crouching hard punch right into C8. Have a nice day. Punk gives us one more match. All right, we got two apiece here. Punk switching it on over to Cammy. And like we said, right, like, when it comes to the ground game, it confirms that throw game. Punk is so good, right? Like, that's really where a lot of the success he had in season two with Karen. And you can see it on his Cammy, he can play that same kind of game plan. The one issue he has is the air approach, which we saw Nephew deal with really well. But, you know, Cammy has enough merit on the ground that it doesn't really matter. You have to go so much harder in this matchup because, but like I said, because of those counters, right? You're going, you're playing so much harder to try to make sure you have a successful way in. And you already pointed out that Punk does not have really good dive kicks to get in. So now you're forced to do that ground game. That narrows the field of vision for Nephew. He knows that he's gonna need some normal or a physical to get in. And a proper read is all you need. She tries to walk in for a throw. You know he's quick with jab, parabellum hands. That's gonna get his offense started. And that's typically how he's turned around most of these rounds. Oh, missed the combo there. Big punish. He goes for the hill. 50-50. Stayed in the front. He could have done the run jump over. Yeah, jab, strong spear. EX for the knockdown. Now, if you gave him some space, he put himself in that perfect range and checked him with the fierce. Oh, wow, that was sick. Yeah, he had yeah, counter sure. medium pick, so he got the fierce after the activation. Dash is out of the corner. That was good. And you can see him just, his defense looking so good for Nephew. Gets the parabellum hands again. Uh -huh. One more V trigger, too. Oh, what a check. What a check. They're just staring each other oh, down. Oh, no, it's punch. That could have been it, Punk. Had a chance. The whip on it. He had counter hit. He could have done stand like oh, it. Oh, the low forward into EX. Punk on set point. Now running it back. Nephew had his hands in his head. He knew he had that counter hit, crouching medium kick. Could have done stand like kick after the whip on it. The oh. counter active frame. Set him up with the hail, the throw. That back vanity step to create some space. Uh oh. I like how Nephew is taking his time. Look at that. That counter combo beats the throw, doesn't cancel. Now Punk's out of the corner. You gotta watch that jump with the B trigger dive kick. I mean, he could parry it, but. Ooh, activates. Crouching fierce. He's got B trigger and the meter. Oh, the uppercut. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Punk's about, about to, to have critical art, though. Oh, he baited the throw. Final round between these two. Uh-oh. Full CA available still for Punk. He can cash out early, do a lot of damage, and slow this pace down to a crawl and make Nephew make those big guesses. Wow, what a whip punish that with a standing arm punish. I turned around and say Dan was looking at me, eyes wide open. I can't believe that. Oh, man, this guy's good. Ground game excellent from Punk so far. All throw. kinds of offense. He's got to end this quick before Nephew gets activated. There it is. Got him low. He didn't spend any V-Trigger. Wow, oh, that, that was kind of slick. Even better, the block. The exhale, no answer. Oh, the counter miss, he's got the confirm. Uh-oh, now this is a bad situation for Nephew to be in. What is he Double got dash. The meaty jabs, he's done it again. Punk, one more time over Nephew. Man, this dude, how many lives does Punk have? How many lives does Punk have? He will not. Die. I don't know how he does it. He switches from Colleen. He switches from Cammy. What's crazy about that is like, how many dive kicks did we see? It like, was like almost, negative two. Yeah, it was almost all ground game. Only when he had V trigger did he really spend the dive kick. And I feel like he used the V trigger more for the 